Let's listen in. I've ever had the privilege of knowing and the honor to call friends. They have been incredibly loyal to me and to the countless dedicated people they employ around the world, hiring more minority and female executives than any other company for which I've ever worked. Rest assured, I am a highly intelligent, free-thinking, and independent woman. My opinions and decisions are based solely in fact, not fiction, speculation, assumption, or hearsay. I do not vote based upon the color of my skin, nor the signature on my paycheck. I judge my friends and forge my allegiances from direct personal interaction and moral character. That said, there is no higher barometer by which to measure oneself than the one continually set by this family and their spouses. The Trump family has stood by me through immensely difficult times without hesitation or concern for their own reputation by association. They continue to trust me with every aspect of their lives and the lives of their families. They invite me into their homes and welcome me at their family gatherings. For the past six years, I have held an executive position as it pertains to the distribution of their charitable funds, and they have charged me to identify worthy and altruistic missions. I could not be more humbled. This is the Trump family that I know. There is a movement sweeping this brave nation, and I am honored to have a front row seat to it on a daily basis. This country has spoken. My boss has justly earned the Republican nomination and broken voter registration records in countless states across America. This cannot be denied. He has brought this party together by drawing more Democrats, more independents, and more first-time voters into the GOP fold and has earned more Republican votes than any other presidential candidate in modern history. That must be respected. To the skeptics who will undoubtedly claim that I'm doing this at the behest of the Trump family or with the promise of reward, I deliberately chose not to seek their approval nor counsel in advance of this video for fear that they would be more concerned for me and its potential viral ramifications than they would be for themselves and the fact that quite simply, this is the right thing to do. For me, it was an easy decision, just as voting for my boss, Donald J. Trump, should be an easy decision for you. God bless this family, God bless the voters, and God bless the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, the Vice President of the Eric Trump Foundation and Senior Family Assistant, Lynn Patton. But you know what? I'm going to give it a shot. I said, hello, America! I am honored to be here tonight on behalf of my boss, Donald J. Trump. As someone who has been with this family each and every day for the past seven years, I know Mr. Trump. I know his heart, and I know his passion for this country to be true. Tonight, as we stand in the shadow of one of the darkest months in modern American history, I know, now more than ever, that Donald Trump is the law and order needer we need to heal a wounded and divided nation. We all watched, horrified and helpless, as a radical Islamic terrorist targeted members of the LGBTQ community in Orlando. We've seen discord in our urban communities sparked by the senseless deaths of young black men in Baton Rouge, in Minnesota, and far too many places around this country. We watched in horror as our nation's finest were gunned down in Dallas and Baton Rouge as they sought to protect the very people protesting them. But in order to heal as a nation, we must stop viewing these incidents as attacks on the LGBTQ community, or attacks on the black community, or even attacks on the law enforcement community. They are attacks on America, they are attacks on our values, they are attacks on the very foundation of civil society. Sadly though, 
There's not one person in this room who can deny that, historically, black lives have mattered less. My life mattered less. And whether we like it or not, there are people out there who still believe this to be true. But tonight, as a minority myself, I personally pledge to you that Donald Trump knows that your life matters, he knows that my life matters, he knows that LGBTQ lives matter, he knows that veterans' lives matter, he, and he knows that blue lives matter! This country is sadly more divided now than it was eight years ago. But tonight, don't hope for change, be the change. Vote not for the candidate who asks you to stand with her, but instead vote for the candidate who stands in solidarity with you. The Bible tells us that you can judge a tree by the fruit it bears. And if you embrace these words, then you embrace Donald Trump because he has raised the best young adults I have ever had the privilege to know and the honor to call friends. They were raised to be respectful of all ages, all races, and all religions. Eric, Don, and Ivanka, I love you like the siblings I never had. You are compassionate, you are charitable, you are my heroes. the opportunity of America because I have seen it firsthand. My father was born in Birmingham, Alabama and rose to become one of the most respected doctors at Yale University. I am proud of him. I am proud of my African American heritage and I am proud to stand before you tonight and support Donald Trump not just in spite of the color of my skin but in fact because of the color of my skin. God bless this family and God